Welcome to Book Talks with Diane. Today's book is Yellow Medicine by Anthony Neal Smith. This book received 3.6 stars on Goodreads. Smith deserves credit for taking a risk by creating a character like Lafitte, whose private code of honor, if any, is far more obscure than an anti-hero like uh, Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer, Publishers Weekly. Deputy Billy Lafitte is not unfamiliar with the law. He just prefers to enforce it rather than abide by it. But his rule bending and bribe taking have gotten him kicked off the force in Gulfport, Mississippi, and he's been given a second chance in the desolate Siberian wastelands of rural Minnesota. Now, Billy's only got the local girls and the local booze to keep him company until one of the local girls, cute little Drew, basis for a psychobilly band, asks Billy for help with her boyfriend. Something about the drugs Ian's been selling. Some product he may have lost and the men who are threatening him because of it. Billy agrees to look into it, and before long, he's speeding down a snowy road, tracking a cell of terrorists with a severed head in his truck's cab. And that's only the start. I gave this book four and a half stars. A friend of mine, Mitchell, asked me to read this book, and so I found it on Kindle Unlimited and began reading this is uh, book one of the Billy Lafitte trilogy. This is a little rougher type book than I usually read, but I know for a fact that my husband and a lot of the male patrons at Mule Area Public Library would like this book. Craig, jo Craig Johnson, the author of the Longmire series, wrote the introduction to this book. That says something right there. This book was action packed. You got a surprise with almost every age you turned. It only took me a couple of days to get this one read. If you enjoyed uh, James Patterson's Alex Cross series, if you liked the movie Charlie Sheen was in that was called um, Beyond the Law, or Lee Child's Jack Reacher series, I think you will like this series also. Thank you, Mitchell, for suggesting this book, and thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.